I'm gonna show you how to use the side plank to help us with anti-rotation drills, which are really good for people who need a little bit of strengthening around their core, but into rotation. Maybe they're playing sport. Maybe they're like some of our clients that have a bit of instability in their lumbar spine, and so their rotational work needs to improve. So we need to work on obliques and QL and those extensors to help stabilize the spine. Now, doing some side plank work with some push and pull is a really good way to advance whatever they've been doing. Maybe they're doing a bit of pal off press type work where they're trying to work on anti-rotation, but then we've got to try and put it into a side plank so we get a lot more lumbar spine and abdominal work done which helps out connect that upper and lower body. So enough about that, let's show you what we've been doing. In the side plank, I would start on your knees. So you've got to get your side plank right first. So if you're struggling with side planks or this movement here, watch the side plank video. There's a link in the bio for that. Um, work on that first, get that side plank sorted, and then you can add some load onto it because this is a lot harder than a normal side plank because we're adding load and you've got to work on stability. So don't start it until you've worked out that side plank. So once you've got that sorted, I would add a band on to a pole. Now there's two things we're gonna do. We're gonna add on, we're gonna add on the band, but we're gonna do a push and then we're gonna do a pull. And so therefore there's directional load coming from either behind you or directional load that's coming in front of you that you've got to resist and anti-rotate if you like, because the movement's gonna rotate the upper body and we want to stop that so i'll show you what i mean first of all what you're going to do is just have this band ready you're not going to do anything with it yet you've got to get into your side plank so that means sitting into flexion the hips getting into neutral loading through that shoulder pushing through your knees and coming up into your side plank and now that position there i don't want you sitting back you've got to be right forward as though your whole body is straight through there okay so you've got to this point make sure you've got a bit of deep core work on you've got your glutes squeezed okay to keep you in hip extension and that'll help you with the the lumbar spine load at the back and those activation muscles at the back now from there as long as you're going to maintain that position what you're going to do with this band here is a push now you can either start off by just straightening that out okay and working on scapular retraction and protraction which is a nice one to tie, sort of tie in your serratus work with all the rest of the posterior chain you got going on there. So that's a nice one. If you can handle that okay, then you can take the pressure all the way off. So there's no load apart from me doing a side plank. And that load there, I've got to try and resist, okay? That's trying to rotate me backwards. So you imagine this load here is trying to rotate my upper body backwards. So the more I push forward, the more I've got to work in my spine to try and stop the rotation, hence the anti-rotation. This helps you with that real connection between upper body and lower body. Think of like between thorax and pelvis, okay? And what's in between? Lumbar spine and all the core and lumbar extensors and QL and obliques and those muscles around that stabilize the spine, keep it strong. So this is a really good way for you to try and train more load through your lumbar spine, your core, by doing that movement. And it helps you, hey, you can sneak in some scapular work, some serratus work in that position. It's really good. Now, that's obviously you know, a moderate level, okay, as far as it is hard. But if you find that there's easy, you've got enough endurance and strength through here, then you can go to your feet. And that's just gonna put so much more load on. Plus, you're more unstable. With my two knees together on the ground, there's some sort of grounding stability there. If I go to my feet, and when you do feet, go top leg forward, bottom leg backwards, in like a sort of split lunge stance, then when you go up into your side plank and do that movement, I've just got way more load on my right hand side. So I'm doing a lot more work in through my glute, you've got to keep those squeezed, in my QL, my obliques, there's a lot of load going on through there. So that's the way you'd advance that one. Just make sure again, like the side plank on the knees, you follow all the rules on the side plank on your feet and get that form correct. Because there's no point in doing this sort of exercise with load if your side plank's no good. So, that one is your push one. And like I said, that's working on rotation backwards in the upper spine. But you can also do it with a pull. So, if we go around this way, same band, same attachment point, just turn around the other way and you're going to work on your side plank the other way. Now, I'll just do my other side because I've gone and done my right hand side. So, 
This one is obviously going to be working my left hand side. Now in this position here, again, go back to your knees, get yourself set up. Make sure again with side planks, setting before you push up. Make a, make a note of that. Just don't just, just lift up like that, okay? You've got to go into extension of the hips when you side plank, just like a bridge, okay? So you've got to extend the hips to come into, into that neutral position there. So make sure before you sort of go from that, just rock back so you go into that sort of squat and then push forward, okay? Now, I might just have to change my angle a little here because you really want to be sort of right angles to the band when you pull, okay? So from there, push forward. And just get yourself in a position where when your arm's straight, that tension is not loose. So I'll have to sit back a little bit more, get into here perhaps, come through, and then I've got tension there. Now again, that position needs to be fully extended through there, so I know I've got all my lumbar extensors on, glutes are on, and now I'll simply be going from that protraction position, position with the upper arm, retract, pull through. And now the band is trying to rotate my upper body to the left, okay? It's trying to pull me that way. So I'm doing some work on the other side to hold me back, all right? And this is very specific for some people who have sort of weakness on one side. They might find that they're weak on a pull on one side. And that might be because not necessarily how weak their right arm is, it might be how stable they are on the other side that stops them rotating, okay? So this movement will start help tidy up the fact that is it really your arm strength that you're weak on on one side or is it your fact that it's your spinal stability on one side? So this one's a really nice one to do, especially if you want to tie in, I'm going to do some rows along with some movement there, okay? Now again, advancing that up, go to your feet. It's going to make a whole lot harder. Just to reiterate, top leg forward, bottom end backwards. And again, you can tighten this band up if you want, you can make that a bit stronger. Come up into that position there, okay? And then retract, pull through. A Lot more load for my left hand side obliques and QL. They're really on fire there doing that, okay? So that movement there is really good, like I said, for trying to stop me rotating, working on opposite sides to the arm I'm pulling to help me stabilize, help my spine basically connect from upper, mid, and lower. So both that and the push one are really nice exercises to completely advance the side plank, but what you're working on is advancement of the anti-rotation work. So you're trying to stabilize or teach the body how to stabilize a contralateral side when you're pushing or pulling, or if you're running, throwing a rugby ball, that sort of thing. So it is really good sport related, but for our clients, it's also awesome for that instability issue they may have just day to day where one side has been very weak from an injury and they're struggling to get that side connected and switched on through conventional exercises. So once they've got to the point where they can side plank, they can do pal off press type work, this is a really nice one we start to advance them to because yes, it fatigues them, but they learn the control and they only do a little bit of time. Again, the band can be light. And if you work on that slowly and be careful with it, pushing and pulling both sides, you'll find that your spinal speed will start improving and that should help you even further. See how you go with that. See you next time.